Well, the question came up uh, as to regenerative therapy and, and how does that work anyway? Well, if you think about it, uh, the body heals itself every single day. If you cut your skin, doesn't it heal? If you break a bone in, in three months, you put in a cast or, or a splint, doesn't that get better? If a surgeon uh, goes in and takes out your gallbladder or, or does some deep surgery inside your body, puts a few stitches in there, doesn't it get better? So just understand the concept that the body has the ability to heal itself is very important, which is why the regenerative uh, treatments work, because we understand how the body heals itself. It heals itself by sending uh, uh, blood to the area, platelets to the area and attracting stem cells to the area and it does that every single day when you injure yourself. In fact, uh, many of my colleagues don't even think about this, but what are the plastic surgeons and dermatologists doing when they want to grow collagen in the face to make someone look more beautiful, uh, to get them younger, to get rid of their wrinkles and whatever have you. So they're doing dermabrasion on the face. With dermabrasion, they're sandblasting the face and they're making it all red. Right? What is the red stuff that comes to the face when you get sandblasted with dermabrasion? It's blood. And how about the chemical peels? You go to your cosmetician or you go to your dermatologist and they send you for seven to ten chemical peel treatments and they put acid on the face and it burns the face just short of a third degree burn, uh, second degree burn. Uh, and you, when you walk out of the, uh, uh, the chemical peel, uh, what does the face look like? It's red. What's the red? It's blood. What's in the blood? Growth factors. How about if you go to the plastic surgeon or a dermatologist and they don't want to put you through 10 sessions. They want to get you better in one session and make you look younger. So they do laser peels and things like that. Laser has the capacity uh, to also burn the face and uh, cause blood to the rest of the area. And blood, of course, has the growth factors for healing. Uh, some of the newer lasers uh, don't even have to burn, but they work on the uh, collagen itself uh, to stimulate the growth factors uh, bypassing the burning uh, to improve skin tone and collagen. So the reason I brought this up is that in science and medicine we use regenerative therapy for many years, but no one thought of using it for orthopedic conditions until recently. And in the 21st century, which is where we are, it's all about regeneration. So uh, by stimulating the, uh, the collagen with the prolotherapy, uh, it uses uh, chemicals which are mildly irritating, causing blood to rush to the area, the blood has platelets in it. The platelets break open and, and release their stem cells um, and attract stem cells and uh, that causes uh, that area to, uh, to heal. Uh, with the stem cell therapy you're going right to the stem cells and you're placing them into the wound or the area and then uh, you, you might put some growth factors on top of that and that causes uh, tissue to heal directly by, by transplanting the stem cells where it's needed the most. So in a nutshell, that's how regenerative therapies work. And in the future, uh, you'll be seeing all types of regenerative therapies from heart conditions to stroke to Parkinson's and multiple sclerosis. And it's a very exciting time, I think, in medicine right now uh, to be able to be part of that whole new era of treatment.